<laughs> the Paul brothers. Um, how how are they? How are they in your life right now? Dude, they're killing it. I really love Logan so much right now. Logan is like. I've always loved Logan, like, don't get me wrong, he's always been around, he's always been so funny, whatever, but I feel like we're really starting to, like, bond, and he's actually really starting to, like, support me and fuck with me and, like, look at me as, like, his sister, which, to me, I'm like, yes, yes, you love me, like, he, he commented <laughs> something, yesterday he commented, like, my sister is a star on my photo, and I was like, I know you mean this, because, like, you wouldn't say it, and you didn't fucking mean it, like, I love you, like, it was, like, this whole thing, so, it's fire to see Logan coming around, Jake is just, like, bodying life right now like boxing wise work wise like he's killing it he's really starting to take music like more seriously which i think is good for yeah. him because i feel like jake has been doing youtube for like such a long time such a crazy long time and like i feel like to have something a new outlet for him to like you know put his emotions and thoughts and stuff into is really cool like seeing that makes me really proud of him so yeah, yeah. are you on um, at all like does it concern you like when it comes to the content of his music at all or no because it's just him like letting out his feelings it's so interesting that because I'm, I'm assuming you're in reference to this new song yeah and Alyssa stuff and all that kind of stuff it's interesting because it's like when jake first told me about his new song these days i guess i can just like reference that yeah it it wasn't the concept of it wasn't concerning to me at all because it's like that's what you do with music i have so many upcoming songs that are about so many exes so many people that have been in my life so many like fucked up things i've gone through that's so important yeah especially it's like when you're on social media and like you can't fucking trust people and you don't get to let out these things and like god knows jake or i have had any fucking therapy in the last like few years like it's it's very prevalent um so for him to like let out bottled up emotion and turn it into art is like so it's literally like beautiful yeah. to me not to be like jake paul's music is so beautiful like i sound insane <laughs> um but I'm, I'm just saying like that's cool like that's cool as fuck yeah but it is it's it's almost more hard the public's like scrutiny and perception and like what the media does is very yeah. intense i've definitely had a battle with that in the past few months but it's hard because it's like i made my bed and i have to lie in it like you get fucking yeah. married in front of the entire public eye like oh no people are making articles on you like you did that shit you know like i take full responsibility for everything that's going on in the media but it's it's interesting because it's like yeah i didn't even think twice about him right. releasing these days and then I, I probably should have thought about what Well, like, until someone goes. else, like, places media on it, or places meaning on it that yeah, might or not just be... Yeah, like, or reacts, Dan Mojo reacts, everyone, like, uh, like, it can yeah. just be, like, really intense, because it's, like, in reality, I don't, I don't fucking care, like, release a song, like, fuck it up. But at the same time, I don't ever want anything... I never want to look like someone's bitch. I never want to look dumb. I never want things to be at my expense. I've always kind of, like, my, my image online has always been, like boss bitch like role model uh -huh. like don't let anybody like someone cheats on you break up with them someone's you know whatever like stand up for yourself so i i worry that the lines can be grayed in that regard you know i, mm -hmm. I don't want people to look at what jake's posting or and ever think like tana's not standing up for herself properly it's, it's all very like fine lines it feels like a juggling act it's yeah intense. well and you're so open with your fans too that i think that if it came to that point you could always be like yeah this is what's up I, this is how i feel on all that matters is really what they think. And I guess that's true. I, I got I got to a point toward the end of this year where I was afraid to do things like that because it's like, I am at a point where no matter what I really say regarding my relationship or love or anything, like there's going to be some people that are mad at whatever I'm saying, no matter right. what it is, you know? And I got to a point where I was like, I'm so scared to say anything because like I don't know how people are or whatever. And like, but that's all authentic. Like at the end of the day, you need yeah. to just say what's authentically on your mind. That's why I took a break because I felt like, um, a lot of things I could say to a lot of people asking me a lot of questions would be very like short, sweet, like you know, answers that weren't this, like appeasing like this. to yeah. what you thought they wanted to hear. Exactly, and it was like I'd rather just step back and assess how I really feel about everything and make sure that when I do answer people's questions, it's with the utmost authenticity. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I love that you like know. took the time to be able to re. It like, scares me. I never. I don't. I don't ever want to lose that like like connection with my fans. But it's it's hard when you're balancing a lot of shit. But also, no shade to like Alyssa or the entire banks. Oh Alyssa. yeah. Like I fucking love Alyssa. Like she's so fun. Like she's been through some crazy shit. And, like yeah. she's like a warrior. You know, she's fire. Like it's it's a weird. It is a weird balancing act because I yeah. feel like people want me to like play into the narrative. Yeah, but it's like I'm focused on so much, so much work. I'm so much more focused on like. When I see Jake in real life, we're so busy. I'm I'm in New York right now. He's in fucking. He's going to Big Bear in a second. Like you mm -hmm. know, like we're not always in the same place. So it's like when I do see him, I want to focus on us 
personally, not like, what do you think about Jalissa? Like, it's just like not. <laughs> right. You know, I don't know. 